It's early Saturday morning at a local high school. The bleachers are bare compared to the crowds that fill them on Friday nights. The silence on campus is broken only by the light jog of residents using the track. Marilyn and longtime friend and pharmacist are completing their morning walk. Marilyn's guide dog accompanies her because she is seeing and hearing impaired. She might not have been here today if it wasn't for an intervention by her pharmacist, who carefully manages her medications. A few months ago, Marilyn received a surprise in the mail from CVS. I received a package of pills, a bottle, that I had no idea what it was or where it came from. I finally had somebody look at it and tell me, I am blind and deaf which is something that should be noted here. I had someone tell me what the pills were, which of course meant nothing to me. So I spoke to my pharmacist, and he said just to give them to him, and he took care of them. And I would not have known what to do, and it turned out that it was a medication that could have made me quite ill. It was the same medication I was taking, but it was a different brand and seemed different to me. In fact, one of the calls I did make was to the doctor to see if I should take it. And if I hadn't known better and been able to call my pharmacist, I might have just taken it and it would have been, I would have been poisoned by the drugs. Marilyn is one of many school district beneficiaries who are now being forced by Caremark to either receive their medications by mail or at a local CVS only. I feel I'm being pushed around, and that my personal affairs, and those of many other teachers, I mean, I'm not the only one. My condition may be a little worse, but it's still inconvenient. And so many people want to be able to call their pharmacies and ask a question. Marilyn is certainly not alone. Lots of other patients are finding it hard to get their prescription drugs from a CVS after establishing a long, trusting relationship with their pharmacist. And I feel that it's very it is as important to go to a personal pharmacist as it is to have a personal doctor. Because they know what medications you're taking, what medication goes with what medication. In my instance, I once received, I had a doctor call and order a prescription that did not go with my other prescriptions. The pharmacist called the doctor and got a different one. Also, I don't know what prescriptions I'm really allergic to. I should know that, but I don't. And when a doctor asks me, I say, if you order something from my pharmacist that I'm allergic to, he'll tell you. He knows. And I don't think one can have that kind of relationship with, well, by mail, certainly not, and with a pharmacist who is one of many at a chain pharmacy where there are numerous pharmacists filling the order. And having to order things by mail order is also very difficult for me. Even just the standard medications that I take all the time. I much prefer to get them from a personal pharmacist. For now, Marilyn only has one simple request. Let us have some choice, because it's choice that's really important. Some people like to do it the other way. I'm Matthew, reporting for the USC School of Pharmacy.